That ambassador of the USA was supposed to be taken out of our country the following day. He insulted us. He violated uh, diplomatic protocols. That's why he was sanctioned. And then he started speaking in folk tongues and we didn't hear what he was saying. But a man who speaks like that in the name of diplomacy, you will immediately withdraw his credentials. That man's credentials were supposed to be withdrawn. There are lots of protocol channels that are established for those types of concerns. He could have utilized those channels to go and raise his concerns. But to create such atmosphere for our country, to create such doubt and smear our country in a manner he did, and he still hasn't come out to apologize. He says, no, maybe things were not put the way, maybe they were misunderstood. And, but we understood him. So that's not the type of a guy, and a guy we need. So if there were guns that were given to Russia, it was a good thing. I would have done the same as a president of the republic. But I don't think these ones have got capacity, Shem. Unless you are talking Nobkiris and Spear and all those types of things. But real, real stuff. I don't know what is it that Russia doesn't have which came here to look for. But Russia must be given a practical support. Because when we needed one, they didn't give us a non-alignment position. They didn't give us this neutral nonsense position. They gave us arms. They gave us arms. That's how much we relate uh, with Russia. Uh, so I'm asking myself, who can sneak out the weapons in this country? And why didn't the DA or Freedom Front know? Because they are the ones who control all strategic uh, sectors of South Africa. In the armaments, white Afrikaner males are there. You can't take any armaments out of this country without them leaking such information with immediate effect and taking it pictures. Who, Tondi Mudiza is going to sneak out weapons with who? Helped by who? 